Okay, so you just got home from a trip and are noticing some bite marks. How do you know if you brought bed bugs home from a trip? How long does it take to develop an infestation? First, let's talk about two ways you can bring bed bugs home, but not become infested. Well, the thing to consider is that there are so many variables that can affect this. Like, did you bring home one male bed bug? If so, you'll never develop an infestation because the males can't reproduce on their own. Or, did you bring home one juvenile female bug? In this case, you also won't become infested because an immature female can't reproduce on her own. But what most definitely can contribute to an infestation is bringing home one pregnant adult female bed bug or bringing home a few bed bugs that are mixed genders. In either case, you can develop an infestation from these two scenarios. So, since you're here to learn how long before you know if you brought bed bugs home, Let's talk about some of the signs and timeline. First off, some of the common early signs of bed bugs are fecal spots. These are small dark spots left behind by bed bugs. They can be on your bedding, mattress, nearby walls, or furniture. They're often round and they stain things, kind of like ink spots. Usually when we're doing our canine inspections, if one of our bed bug sniffing dogs alerts to the presence of bed bugs, one of the first signs we may see is an ink stain. Shed skins can also be another sign of bed bugs, but these are harder to spot than the fecal stains. And lastly, another sign of bed bugs are bed bug eggs. For example, in this apartment, we went in and did a canine inspection and then found bed bug eggs on the bottom of the couch. You can see all of these bed bug eggs right here. So now you know what some of the signs are, let's talk about the timeline. How long before you know if you brought bed bugs home? There's no cut and dry answer, but here's some general facts that can help you understand how long it would take before you become infested. Female bed bugs can generally lay up to five eggs daily. If you only have one female adult to start, it will take months to get enough bugs to create a full-blown infestation. See this timeline we came up with. So if you brought one female bed bug in, in one week, you can have approximately 20 to 30 eggs. Each egg will have a single bed bug in it. The amount of eggs can be a lot less or more depending on how healthy the adult female is and when she last got pregnated, plus how often she gets a blood meal. By two weeks later, you can have an average of 42 total eggs. Some eggs will begin hatching between weeks one and two. Three weeks later, you can have an average of 63 total eggs, plus you'll have some hatched nymphs from the first set of eggs from week one. All bed bug eggs generally take between seven and 14 days to hatch. If there were only 21 eggs laid in week one, these baby bed bugs would all begin growing and molting into adults. Then four weeks later, you'll have an average of 84 total eggs, plus growing nymphs. These baby bed bugs take about four to eight days to shed their skin and advance to the next stage. Each bed bug goes through five stages before they become an adult and only the adults are able to reproduce and make more babies. So at six weeks later, as long as the baby bed bugs were getting regular blood meals, you could start to have adult bed bugs that can lay more eggs. It's really eight weeks later and on during the two to three month mark when the population can explode. You'll have enough adult bed bugs to lay a significant amount of eggs. Now that you have a large population of adult bed bugs, the harborage will be growing. It's easy to spread them to your friends and family during this time by unknowingly dropping off a hitchhiker. So once adults are in the mix is when the population can begin doubling. As you can see from our timeline, it takes an average of five to six weeks to go from egg to adult. So in the beginning stage, bed bugs are a slow process. You don't become infested overnight. In the beginning stages, the more washing and drying you do, as well as deep crack and crevice vacuuming, you can remove bed bugs or kill them through the high heat and vacuum. Killing off as many bed bugs as possible in the beginning stage like this is important. This is why we always recommend everyone who's suspicious of bed bugs to start doing some deep crack and crevice vacuuming of the bed frame, headboard, mattress, moldings, and floors around the beds and couches. So to prevent bed bugs in your home, follow some simple steps regularly. Inspect your bedroom, especially your mattress, box spring, and bed frame. Look for any early signs of bed bugs, including live insects, shed skins, and fecal stains.
Use a flashlight for better visibility. I'll link in the description to the small but super bright flashlight that we use on all inspections. Next, keep clutter to a minimum to reduce potential hiding spots for bed bugs. Store your belongings in sealed airtight containers rather than cardboard boxes and bags. Anything under your bed should be sealed in airtight containers. This can help minimize hiding spots. Kneel cracks and crevices in your home or apartment. These include areas around the baseboards, window frames, ceiling lights, and electrical outlets. And lastly, consider using mattress and box spring encasements. These tightly woven covers can help protect your bed from bed bugs. They minimize hiding spots and make it easier to spot signs of an infestation. So if you're still wondering if you brought bed bugs home, feel free to go to our contact page on our website linked in the description. We can provide a consultation on your specific situation and help you understand if you're taking the next right steps. If you've ever brought bed bugs home and didn't realize until you had a full-blown infestation, drop us a line in the comments because your story may in turn help someone else. Here's a short little video of our dogs sniffing out bed bugs.